Welcome back, boys and balls, to Dini Dede TV. We're here in Munich at the Bavarian Film Studio. Films such as Das Boot, Never Ending Story, amongst tons more were filmed here. We're going to do a tour, we're going to go and check it all out. So, why don't you come with us? Come and check it out. Let's go. So our tour starts here. We're gonna be getting on one of these little trains in a minute. We're just waiting for our time slot to begin. Um, so we're gonna go and grab a coffee from the shop. There's a gift shop over the back there. Spin you around. There's a gift shop over there. I'm gonna go and grab a coffee. They've got a little Costa sign. So we're gonna go and grab a nice Costa coffee for our journey. Um, and then, yeah, I think it takes, I think there's a stunt show from what, I, from what I gather. And then it takes us around all the different studios and shows us uh, some of the sets from some of the films that were filmed here over the years. So yeah, it's really exciting. I can't wait. One thing I think is um, a lot of it, well, I think it's all in German. So we've been told that we have to download an app um, so we can listen to it in English. So we're going to do that now. Um, go and grab a coffee, do that now. And our time slot starts in about 10, 15 minutes. So um, yeah, cool. The size of these studios, they're huge. Great big buildings. Just think of all the magic that happens in these places as well. All the, all the sets that are built and all the cool actors that have been inside them. Amazing. All right, so we've come across the escape pod that was used in the film Big Games. So Samuel Jackson, I haven't seen it, but I know Samuel Jackson played the president and he escaped on Air Force One in this escape pod right here. But how cool is this? Ooh, it looks good, doesn't it? I believe that that could take me somewhere safe. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon so. But look at like all the design and just look at all the little you know bits and bobs on it it must have taken ages to make something like that and now here it is at the bavarian film studios samuel jackson sat in that i wonder if he's still in there all right so we were just putting a little holding pen and now we're just following this chap at the front not quite sure where we're going. There's a little train back there, so I thought that we got on the little train. I was but... excited to get on there. <laughs> I think maybe we come back and um, get on the train, maybe. Who knows? But anyway, yeah. I think we're going into this building over here. So yeah, we're just going into Mowgli's Adventure by the looks of it. It's a 4D ride, so I won't be able to film in there. Uh, Laura's going to sit this one out. She's not a fan of 4D experiences, so um, I'll let you know what it's like when we come out the other side. Sie sind sicher, sind doch eine Teilnahme für Sie in Frage gekommen, so wenden Sie sich bitte an unser Filmstadtpersonal. Die hier brauchen Sie jetzt. Ich gehe mal schauen, ob der Tiger noch da ist
Und Sie, schauen Sie jetzt auch dieses kleine Filmchen hier an, dann folgt Sie. So we just come out of the 4D adventure, Mowgli's adventure. Um, yeah, it was it was good. It was okay. Um, they sort of sat you down, and then what what I didn't like about it, um, which you don't have in a normal 4DX cinema, is they had these bars like you normally get on a roller coaster that come down in front of you and keep you keep you strapped in. Um, I get why they have it because the seats in there really threw you around quite a lot. Um, yeah, I hate being. I mean, if it was that, if that was for a feature-length movie, I wouldn't be happy at all because I hate being stuck down in one spot. But it was only like a short. It was like five, six minutes long. Um, but yeah, it was cool. Um, the movement was really good. The movie was fun. Didn't really get a lot of um, anything else. Didn't really get any of the wind or water elements or anything else from a 4DX experience. But yeah, it was cool. It was a nice little touch. So yeah, so now we're just on to the next part of the experience here at the Bavarian Film Studios. We're following our tour guide. He's leading us back to where we came in. And I think we're going to be hopping on the trains now and then starting to work our way through the studios. So yeah, cool. Ich bin Oliver, euer Tour Guide heute für die nächsten 90 Minuten. Ähm, ich würde Sie jetzt während der Fahrt bitten, Arme und Beine in Zug zu behalten und ähm, auch die Sicherheitsbügel nicht aufzumachen, wenn wir jetzt fahren. So, wir fahren weg von Studios 9 und 12 hinter sich. Das sind die beiden größten Hallen, die wir haben. Ähm, sind Ihnen bestimmt schon auf, aufgefallen beim Reingehen. In Studio 9 werden vor allem Fernsehshows produziert. So drehen zum Beispiel Luke und Klaas hier ihre Shows. Äh, das Duell um die Welt, Luke und Klaas gegen Pro 7 etc. Aber auch Günther Jauch war schon hier, Thomas Gottschalk. Verstehen Sie Spaß? Und gerade läuft dort The Taste auf Sat 1 in die Kochschau. Äh, Studio 12 ist die größte Halle, die wir haben. Die bayerische Filmhalle. Dort werden große Hollywood-Produktionen gemacht. Ähm, zum Beispiel das Parfum mit Dustin Hoffman oder der Untergang mit Bruno Ganz. Did he say that was Dustin Hoffman? So, wir kommen gleich vorbei. <lacht> Und produzieren hier jeden Tag 20 Stunden live ihre Sendung. Sie sehen, das rote Licht leuchtet. Das heißt, da wird gerade drin gedreht, auch sonntags, auch am Feiertagen, eigentlich jeden Tag 20 Stunden lang Live-Produktion. Ähm, bei diesem Bürogebäude hier rechts von uns mit dem Bellblech. Dort hat Michael Bulli Herbig seinen Sitz und produziert von hier aus seine Shows und Filme. Aktuell zum Beispiel LOL auf Amazon Prime. Ähm, können Sie sich mal angucken. Das ist ganz lustig. Ähm, ab und zu schaut er hier aus dem Fenster und winkt, aber heute am Sonntag höchstwahrscheinlich nicht. Äh, neben uns links sehen Sie die FTA. Das ist ein Requisitenverleih. Dort können sich Produktionen ihre Ausstattung zu einer geringen Gebühr ausleihen. Ähm, unter anderem sind hier 200.000 Lampen untergebracht, aber auch Tische, Stühle, äh, alles was man braucht, um eben so ein Set auszustatten. Damit man nicht immer alles neu kaufen muss, kann man sich das hier einfach ausleihen. Das, Stud äh, das Gelände hier ist sehr, sehr groß, 23.000 Quadratmeter. Ich würde Sie deswegen bitten, ähm, die Gruppe nicht zu verlassen und auf eigene Faust loszuziehen, sondern immer schön bei uns zu bleiben. Außerdem wird hier vieles aus Holz und Styropor gebaut, äh, deswegen würde ich Sie bitten, hier auch nicht zu rauchen. Wenn wir jetzt gleich aussteigen hier aus dem Zug, dann gehen Sie doch bitte zwei bis drei Meter weg von dem Zug, dann könnt ihr auch weiterfahren. Vielen Dank! Yeah. 
this reminds me a little bit of um, Halloween Horror Nights, especially when you do the behind the screens tour. You kind of walk into the studios and you see all the sets yeah. and everything. But, yeah, cool, I like these. Oh, wow. Yeah. See the audio clip three? Probably the world's best known and most popular opera, The Magic Flute. The Magic Flute. Okay. Oh, wow. Now, this is pretty cool in here. So this is the set of the Magic Flute. Um, not seen the movie, but this set's really cool. I think he said this is set in Morocco. I'm not too sure. Well, I've been to Morocco and it does look Moroccan, so yeah, I'm guessing that is where this is set. I'll have to do my homework when I let, when I come out of here. But um, yeah, very cool set. I'll spin you around and get some shots of the room. Yes, um, This is very cool. Oh wow. <laughs> is Arnie over there? <laughs> oh wow, this looks good. What's going on in here? Woo. So this hall was used in Kung Fury 2 with Arnold Schwarzenegger, where he played the president. And as you can see, we've got Arnie over here. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, Arnie, we love you, man. We do love Arnie. But yeah, that's so cool to think that Arnold Schwarzenegger was in here filming a scene. The great Arnold Schwarzenegger. So 
so according to the uh, audio guide that way way back when they couldn't they couldn't light the studios like they do nowadays they didn't have the equipment so they actually kind of built built all these glass panels so they could use natural daylight whilst they were filming isn't that crazy it's like a huge greenhouse so in the summer whew, things must be in a must have been getting a little heated on set it's just like a huge greenhouse so we've got a gallery here of all the people that have directed and acted here at the studios so let's take a quick look and see who we can recognize we've got um, stanley kubrick Orson wells what else have we got here that we recognize? We have Drew Barrymore up here. Drew Barrymore. Alfred Hitchcock. So Alfred Hitchcock. A very young Alfred Hitchcock. Ah, Steve McQueen. Michael Caine. Joseph Gordon Levitt. Levitt. Dustin Hoffman. Many, many, many. Burt Reynolds, Ned Beatty, there's loads, Janis Joplin, Sam Rockwell, a very young Sam Rockwell, Ingmar Bergman, lots and lots and lots of very famous actors and directors over the years, Richard Burton, Robert Redford, From the never ending story into one of Dean of the Dead vlogs. <laughs> How cool is this guy? Oh man. What an epic movie. So here's a set piece here from Asterix and Obelix, which starred Gerard Depardieu. And then over here. This is from, no, I haven't heard of this one. This is very cool. This house right here, this is cool, isn't it? This guy up here, looks like something out of Shrek. <laughs> Got him here. We've got a costume here worn by one of the actors in Dust Boot, directed by Wolfgang Peterson. spaceships up here from Enemy Mine. That was a cool movie. Okay. 
in this building over here and it's shaped like a submarine <laughs> so I'm guessing this is where they shot dust boot and hopefully we're gonna get to going over there and check it out but you can see from the outside let me take you around here quickly sorry I'm going rogue you can see from the outside it's all sort of long and shaped like a submarine so this is going to be super cool to see what this looks like on the inside. Maria Studios, das war ungefähr 150 Meter in diese Richtung, hat mir dieses Schwimmbecken, jetzt existiert heute leider nicht mehr. Ähm, dort wurde dieses Modell dann eben reinversenkt. Es hatte einen eigenen Antrieb und wurde ferngesteuert. Ich konnte durch diese Klappen sogar kleine Mini-Torpedos verschießen. Und immer, wenn Sie das Boot im Wasser sehen, dann ist es eigentlich... Um, Alright guys, this is super cool. We are aboard Das Boot right now. <laughs> As I said, I've never actually seen this film before, but I feel like I'm going to have to go and watch it now so I can see what I can recognize from the movie and what's actually on here on the ship now because this is the actual ship that they used, the actual submarine that they used in the film. And apparently all the floors move uh, to simulate the submarine moving around in water so all the actors would move with it to make it more realistic so yeah it's very very cool on here all right we made it <laughs> that was a bit of a tight squeeze getting through that but look at all these little knobs and handles Okay, we've got some more bunks. Yeah, I can see the end over there. Man, this is really cool. There's Laura at the end of Das Boot. I keep saying Das Boot, I'm guessing that's what the submarine was called. We've got some torpedoes right here. Check out these. Made it. Okay, behind us here we've got part of the studio where the film Stowaway or Stowaways was shot with Anna Kendrick and Tony Collette. 
um, and we can we can we're about to walk through part of the spaceship now so I'm just waiting for everybody else to walk through it and then I'm gonna kind of film walking through I think they're all coming out the other end you can hear the kids oh no they're going back through again <laughs> got to duck your head coming through here. I actually came through a minute ago and I'm not gonna lie, I banged my head on that coming through. There's a lot of people in this room so I thought I'd wait until they until they move on. But let's try not to make the same mistake again. So duck. Duck. Oh here we go. We cleared it that time. Alright. <laughs> there was a bleeping. It sounded like somebody pressed an emergency button. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> the ship gonna the ship's gonna blow. How cool is this though? happening oh. <laughs> all right we're gonna get locked in the ship oh. oh man oh this is so cool I love it oh man you have to keep ducking your head And we've landed back on Earth. All right, guys, so this is where they filmed Asterix and Obelix, or Obelix, Obelix. Never quite get that right. It's a cute little house. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> These are cute little houses, aren't they? So this sign translates to quarry beware, obelix. Attention, quarry beware. Oh, wow, this looks cool in here. Whoa. <laughs> Super, so, 
Got some camera equipment over here. Looks like they're filming something. Let's see if we can take a quick look. I can tell you, their camera equipment is uh, darn sight better than mine. <laughs> but yeah, they're filming something in there. Very cool. I don't know if that's real, please, or if that's just an actor. see where these guys are filming through there they've got the police car and the sirens on and the flashy lights on I wonder what that is I wonder if it's for a TV show or for a movie but, um, yeah either way very cool to see them in action now I'm not sure what this building was used for but that looks like it should have come straight out of a horror movie And then if we pan around this way, restaurant, oh, I don't know what the big sign, maybe it's like a, it's supposed to be an old cinema, perhaps. And then if we pan around here, got like a Chinese, Chinese takeaway or a Chinese restaurant right here. So yeah, this was obviously all used in a, a TV show or a movie or something. But, um, yeah, movie magic. So, das Wurm wird ein bisschen hier in den Stuhl, ist aber nicht wild. So, und dann äh, hast du das Wurm. Du gehst noch rein. Und der Zug entlang. Oh Gott. Und jetzt fährt der Zug den Berg runter. Er wird schneller und schneller. Er wird schneller und schneller. Aber Gott sei Dank erscheint unser Held wieder. Der Zug ist wieder gerade. Unser Held erscheint und bremst den Zug ab. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of our Bavarian film studio tour. Um, it was really cool, really interesting. I've not done a tour like that before. I know, Laura, you've done one in Universal. Yeah. Uh -huh. And how would you compare the two? Be honest. I mean, obviously, Universal has way more money. Yeah. <laughs> and the added bonus of it being almost every single movie I, I know. Yeah, I guess, nice. I guess it helps if you've seen or you know a lot of the movies. Like, I know... Uh, there were a lot of stuff that they'd filmed here and well i mean there's a lot of stuff they filmed here that we know of but there was a lot of stuff that they talked about particularly on the tour that we don't but you know that's okay because we're here to learn we're here to learn about what has been filmed here who's passed through the studio over the years um and you know just to see the film sets is really cool the das boot uh, submarine set was was brilliant um also the spaceship from the film so, stowaway was yeah. really really cool that was great so it's good just to see some movie magic you know just like how they build the sets and you know when you see these these movies up on the big screen and you literally think they're in space where they're not they're just inside like a little hangar it's crazy you know and it's, it's it is magic how they do it so yeah so value for money i think it worked out to about it was about 21 euros each i think it's like 42 euros for the for the two of us um i'd say it was value for money it, it seemed it long. was a long tour yeah it was really long the gift shop at the end i love a gift shop but this one just seemed to be full of to really <laughs> it was for the stuff that doesn't really actually belong in a film studio which is quite weird i was i was hoping for like a really cool t-shirt or something um but i got a cool magnet that'll do i'm, a, I'm an avid magnet collector um <laughs> that makes me sound like such a nerd i am a nerd 
I'm a geek. Geeks are sheep, man. Anyway, you know, it's really cool. Really enjoyed it. Did enjoy it. I would recommend it if you're in Munich and you like film. It's definitely worth coming to check out um, because it's something different. As I say, it doesn't cost a fortune. The tour goes on for a long time. And, and yeah, it's cool. It's cool to see, you know, some props from some of these movies and just how they... Um, how they how they build it and some of the work that's gone into building these props as i mentioned you know the submarine i mean wow man that's that was incredible um we listened to the audio um through the app in english because the whole tour was in german it'd be cool if they did had the option to do an english uh, version of the tour as well but that's cool you know it wasn't a deal breaker for us we thought we just wanted to kind of see the studio and see the sets and everything um so yeah we had a good time and we're pleased that we came anyway Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe as per usual. Please keep coming back and checking in. As I say before, that is what motivates us to keep recording and putting stuff out there. We love doing it. It's like a video diary for us. We're just going to keep doing it, even if one person watches it. And that but one person is me. I don't care. <laughs> but um, anyone that does watch it, thank you very much. Please leave some comments below. Good, bad, whatever. Um, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you very much. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed that. Falcor's now going to take me into Munich. He's going to drop me off at one of the beer halls. Please like, please subscribe, please keep following the channel, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Ready, Falcor? To hop around. Let's go.